Allen Iverson, Eric Snow, the backcourt. 5 for Atlanta. Iverson off the glass and good. Exhibit C of my point of how he just scores any kind of way. Doesn't that about JTO? Oh, steal by Iverson. He's led the league three straight years, going on four. Jackson outside. Here's Iverson for three. Good. Allen Iverson. Guilty. Culprit. Iverson. Good. See, and the book says make him go left. And he was like, you want me to go back left again? Iverson finding the rhythm on his shot. 11 in the first quarter. Point seven minutes on the floor. Wheeling and dealing and filling. The shots, and they've taken a little lead, and the temptation would be to, boy, Iverson may be in one of those zones. The call on the floor was good. They'll check it during the break. Iverson with 13 first quarter points, four in the first quarter tonight than he had all last night in Indiana. We're at the end of one in Philadelphia. Sixers on top by six. Prevent Iverson from penetrating. Orlando, Doc Rivers, Johnny Davis, Paul Pressey, and they said that was a problem they had. That they wanted Doc to just take that shot a little more often. AI gets into the paint. That's what we're talking about. His dribble penetration into the lane is so dangerous. Iverson driving, Iverson off the glass and good. Well, look to easy, JT. Uh, in the early going, take a lot of the pressure off. Good beat. Iverson, rainbows at home. It is Iverson thinking. They don't want to bail him out, though. See, that's what you don't want to do. You just want to make him keep shooting with that hand in his face, but don't let him take the rhythm jumper and get an easier shot. By two, Iverson is open and bangs it in. Another jumper going to his left for Iverson. In order. Iverson looking to give the Sixers the lead. Tell you what, Iverson has a very nice rhythm to his game tonight. His perimeter shot is, is very good tonight. Oh. Rebound. How did Jock not get that? Iverson knocks down a three. Well, I thought Jock Vaughn was going to get that one, and it seemed to. That's right. Every and now he's got more faces than Lon Chaney Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Iverson up and in. AI, my goodness, 31 points. 34 does not count, nonetheless. Of 2001. That's nothing. Cross court Iverson for three. Man, he is on it tonight. Yeah. I mean, it reminds you when you talk about great players being able to make everybody around them better or make the team better with their presence and their play. Allen Iverson has been unstoppable tonight. For any questions tonight, there's been the answer. And that answer is scored from deep, in transition, three-point shot. Going left, going right, however you like it, he's had the answer. 16 of 28 shooting, four threes, six assists, two steals, 39 points. Make it 41. Well, again, that's not going to fall on that one, though. They tell him to take away his right. He goes left, walks his right down, see if they can close out. AI. 43. Oh, plenty. Raining jumpers. With the season. Here's the key. Iverson. 45. Good. Allen Iverson. My goodness. And look at Standing it. ovation. 27 in the second half. The Hawks say uncle, like here. Okay. Drives, shoots. Man, he is Man, unconscious. Boy. Unconscious. Just on fire. 47 for Iverson. 13 point deficit. See if sneak back in this thing. You know, and some people may not like the fact that Iverson's going for 50 and how the fans are reacting to it. But I certainly can appreciate fans that acknowledge an outstanding effort and they respond and are appreciative of it and you have certain crowds that uh, are more aware of that and in tune with that as others 
But I like to see it. I like to see this in NBA arenas or in any sporting event. When you see excellence like that. It was January the 15th last season when he put 58 on the board against Houston, his career high. Comes off to a standing ovation. Ed Snyder, who signs the checks, approves. Indeed. Well, he, he joins a couple of other guys. Yes, Tracy McGrady at 51. Mm -hmm. Richard Lewis, 50. Allen Iverson, 50. And the Sixers defeat the Atlanta Hawks 98 to 86. That last a lifetime. And what I think made this performance so remarkable, he didn't go inside for anything. He had one layup in this game. It was yes. all perimeter jump shot. Yes, and we wondered if he would be able to have the big night tonight without going inside, and he showed that he absolutely can. On any given night, I mean, this guy's led the league and scoring so many times, it's almost his position there. And you take a look at the perimeter jumpers just knocking them down, some three, some two. Just had his total game working. The strategy of forcing him to his left uh, was not effective tonight. Any night that the jump shots are raining like that, no strategy is going to be effective, and Hawks got an opportunity to see that firsthand. Allen Iverson, and we're showing just his second half highlights. He had 32 in the second half, 20 of 30 for the night. His final shooting, his jump shots, he was 19 of 28. He was one of two on layups, 18 first half points, 32 second half points. I'm just glad he's not the kind of guy that talks trash because the Hawks tried putting everybody on him and nobody but Allen was the answer for him tonight. It was just a remarkable performance, uh, totally under control with Allen Iverson all night long and just carried the Sixers on his shoulders, even though the Hawks had a good challenge to the Sixers, particularly early in the game. They, they played a good game, but they just not could could not overcome the excellence of Allen Iverson.